All right, we picked up another one. And uh, you guys know that I'm waiting for that WS400 Series 2 gun to come out, but that's gonna be a little later on this year. So in the meantime, I've been wanting to pick up one of the LPH 400s and I would call down to the local paint store and they happen to have the orange cap with the 1.4 in it. So that's what I'm looking for. So let's check it out and see what we got. This one actually is a kit that comes with the PPS cup and the PPS adapter. So that way, if any of you guys may be new to painting, you got everything you need other than a regulator to get ahead and get rolling and get painting. So let's check this thing out and see what it looks like. So here it is. This is the LPH 400 with the LVX HVLP cap. And this is the 1.4. This has got the tulip head on it that most of the Iwatas do have. And definitely a really, really good gun Many, many painters have this gun and it's been definitely tested in the business as a very stand-up gun. So I'm looking forward to having one of these with the rest of my guns because you guys know I'm not you know, stuck on one company. Whatever works well, whatever sprays well, I'm definitely a fan of it. So let's check out this PPS cup it comes with. Just comes with a medium PPS cup, one hard cup, one liner and one lid and one little cap, so not bad. You guys know us professionals use these day to day, so having an extra one isn't a big deal. But to you guys at the house that are starting out, this might be a good option for you guys to get rolling. So definitely a nice chrome finish on it as normal. So let's do what we, we came to do with this gun, see what this thing will do. We're gonna clear one with it and see how nice of a coat we can lay out with this new gun. So let's do it. All right, guys, we're in the booth and this is the job that we're gonna use that new gun on and try it out. So we're gonna be using that gun first to clear with, but I wanted to show you the job that I'm doing first. We're gonna seal it, base it, and then we'll bring that gun in and clear it. And this is NAH Nissan. We got a new bumper, new rocker, new fender, a molding, a blend and a little repair on the edge of this door with another blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing sealed base and then we'll bring that gun in and we'll clear it with it and see how it works out for the clear. guys we got the job all based out and it's ready for clear so I picked this gun up for clear coat and I know people use it for base sealer and other things like that but I'm looking for a gun that's in between the Techna clear coat gun and the DV1 so the DV1 is a little slower but it lays a really flat coat down and it's definitely good to have one of them when you're doing more of the European cars and then I like to use my Techna clear coat gun when I want to fly through one, but I'd like to have a middle of the road gun that will kind of be between both of those where it'll lay a flat coat, but it's not, you know, mirror flat. So I'm hoping this gun here is going to be the one that'll do that for me. And you guys know I bought that SADA a while back and tried it out and ended up giving that one away to one of my subscribers. But that one there was good, but it wasn't what I was looking for. So I knew it would be better off giving away to one of you guys and uh, enjoy that. So I'm hoping this is gonna be the one that'll be in the middle of those two guns. So let's get into clearing this. It's all based and ready to go. So this will be a good job to try this gun out on to see what it's made of. And like I said, I've sprayed this gun before years ago for base coat and it did a heck of a job. So I'm sure it's gonna break this uh, clear up just fine. Most of these Iwata guns all spray phenomenal. So let's get into it.
All right, you guys seen me adjusting it a little bit. I went ahead and turned the fluid in till it hit the needle. And once it hit the needle with a full trigger pull, I went ahead and stopped. And I started out spraying it with a wide open fan, but that fan is really big and I wanted to tighten it up a little. So I turned it just half a turn in on the fan and it's spraying really nice. What a big fan and it definitely lays it down puts out a lot of material and a lot of it goes on the, on the panel. So we got one coat on these things now and we'll come in here and try it out with the second coat and see what we get with it all finished up. So I'm spraying it at about 24 PSI right now and uh, it seems to be spraying good. So this definitely might be the, the gun that I'm gonna be using for the middle of the road. It definitely puts it out fast and it puts it out flat, but it's not too flat and it's not slower like the DV-1 is. So you guys know the DV-1 is one of my favorite guns and especially when you're doing the candy paint, you really get to lay that gun the way you want it to look. So I really love that gun. But to me, there's different guns for different situations because you guys know when you're in the booth all day like I am, you really get the feel of a gun. So I'm spraying continuous non-stop all day long and uh, you can really dial in a gun and get the way it really seems to produce the best you know coat so let's go ahead and put this second coat on and then look at it all finished up But that looks pretty good to me. Definitely lays down a nice coat of clear. And uh, one good thing about this gun that I noticed right away with it is how much it saves on actual materials. You guys see this is a pretty big job in here. We got a fender, hood, door, bumper, rocker. And this gun here only used one full cup of clear on this. I mixed up 29 ounces of clear and I was able to do this whole job with two coats and I still got just a little bit of clear left in the gun. So definitely a very efficient gun. And I know if I would have used the DV-1 or the Tecna, I would have definitely ate up more clear than that. So that's definitely a good thing to uh, save on materials for you guys at the house and even at the shops because you guys know we run on a certain amount that we have to produce from a gallon of clear. So definitely, definitely a very good gun and I'm real happy with it. So we're gonna start using this one more often and start doing more videos on it. And after a week or two, like I always tell you guys, I'll get this thing a real good feel of it and give, it, give you my true honest opinion of it. But so far, it's definitely laying a beautiful coat down. So. This here fender was sealed, based, and cleared fully. And look at that nice factory texture that it has. It has just a little bit of peel in it that looks factory. And that's what I'm going for here. We want to have these you know, finishes look like they haven't been done when we're doing these collision jobs. This isn't something we want to mirror out. So you don't want a dead giveaway when you're clearing something that is too slick or it's too peely. You want to have that nice OEM factory look. So definitely a good gun, the LPH. I'm really happy with it. And it's doing what I'm hopefully needing it to do. So hope you like this one. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.